Hello everyone, I'm Rich Dance, and this is your Defensive Tactics Technique of the Week. Today we're going to be looking at prone handcuffing and search techniques. Alright, we're going to take a look at some prone handcuffing techniques. There's a lot of different techniques I've seen. These are a couple that I'm familiar with that seem to work fairly well. Uh, the bottom line is you want to establish control by placing him at a position of disadvantage and you want to make everything favor you. And hopefully you're going to do this with several other officers on scene to give you a hand. But what this would start out with initially is making the suspect go into a prone position. Get your hands up, higher, get on one knee, get on your other knee, place both hands on the ground in front of you, slide your feet out to where you're laying flat. Put your arms out to the side, cross your ankles, look to your, what would that be, your right. Good. And for demonstration purposes, I'm much closer to him than I would prefer to be as I do this, but we're just trying to keep everything on film here. So at this point, I'm going to approach him and I'm going to grab. I'm grabbing in this manner here, bringing him up this way. And then at that point, I'm going to holster my firearm. I could even holster sooner if I have other people that have their guns trained on him. A simple way to do this, and I can already tell Frank's sweating a little bit and he's all torqued up, so I'm going to try to be quick and not talk as much as I tend to. I'm going to bring this other hand here as well. I'm going to move into position here where I reach under and achieve this position here. Notice my knee is on his back, but I don't have weight on it, right? Frank, I'm going to let you relax for a second here. Mm -hmm. I don't have much weight right here, right? It's your arm that mainly hurts. Mm -hmm. The higher up you, you raise his arm from his back, and the more you raise his arm toward his head, the more he's going to feel that. Now from here, I'm going to get my handcuffs out. I'm going to handcuff upside down and away. Then I'm going to catch this here like this. I'm going to sweep his back so we make sh I make sure he doesn't have any weapons. Give me your other hand, sir. I achieve a shaking hand grip, and right here, there the handcuffs are on. Now from there, searching him is pretty simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hook underneath here, roll him up onto his side, and conduct again my thorough systematic search, doing it the same way every time. I'm going to put him down like this. I'm not going to step over him because if he stands up, it's going to be bad for me. So what I'm going to do is move around to the other side. From here, I'm going to pull him up. Again, conduct my thorough systematic quadrant search. Now from there, I'll go around to the other side so you can see what I'm doing. You can place your knee down here, bring his foot up, and search the leg area really well. If you don't have your knee here, there's a good chance something like this could happen as you're bent down trying to search. So these are some things to keep in mind. If a guy's a real bad guy or he just committed a heinous crime, he's known to be armed, direct him down in a prone position, tell him not to move, and wait for cover. When cover's there, you can use this prone handcuffing and search technique. Okay, we're going to show you an alternate uh, prone handcuffing technique. Now, once I've established this control hold here, rather than switching hands, stepping in here and reaching underneath like we did before, some people find that to be a little difficult. This way, it doesn't require any changing of your hands. It does require a little bit of fancy footwork though. What I'm going to do is step over here, here, and then his hand just ends up in the same position. I'll show you that one more time. Again, I'm here. I don't have to do any fancy hand changes. Um, all I'm going to do is step over here, here, and just bring his hand into position just like this. So that's an alternate method if you don't want to be switching hands prior to handcuffing. 